Hi, this is Kyle Houchins. I'm a tech and a trainer for McNeil, and today I'm here to talk to you about OneView. OneView is a new command in version 6, and it's super useful, allows you to work only in the perspective view. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. So let's take a let's take a peek at it. If I go to perspective view and maximize and I type the command, one view, to set the options, I'm just going to use the defaults. And you'll see that you can tell that you're in one view because it gives you the indication of which construction plane you're working on. So which C plane you're working on. And in this case, the, the top C plane is active. As I start rolling around, you'll see that the front becomes active, the left becomes active, the right becomes active, and all of that stuff starts to become available. Now, why is that cool? Well, it's cool because in 3D view, right, if I come out here a little bit, see this, see how the, the construction plane is flipping around? This is cool because the construction plane is where everything happens, right? It's where, I, where you draw everything. So if I draw a circle at zero here, it's oriented world top. If I roll around here and this construction plane changes, and I do one, now it's oriented world left. If I come this way, see how it's now the front one? Now it's oriented world front. And if I go over here, it's now right, which is going to look the same thing as left. But this allows you to be able to very quickly work in three-dimensional space and not have to go into your front, top, right orthographic views. So if I wanted to draw something, right, I start here, and I start extruding up, and then I want, I want to add a T to this, I can just roll over here until the construction plane changes. Oops, grab the wrong one. And I can add that in a different direction, in a different construction plane setting, all without leaving the perspective view. And you say, well, I would really like to stay in orthographic view. Well, as you go roll around, if you hold down shift control, it's going to snap to an orthographic view. So this works just like any other orthographic view. If you hold down shift control again and right mouse button, you can just pop out of it. So if I go to the, my right construction view, right? See how that's right? And I say, as I'm rolling around, there's a little bit of finesse here, but as I'm rolling around, if I shift control, it snaps into that right C-plane view. So now I can draw here. I shift control, right mouse button, rotate out of that, and I've got that object oriented in right C-plane view. If I roll around so the top is active up here, shift control, it snaps into the top view, right? So I'm not letting go of everything, right mouse button, it just pans around. Now I can draw here. Shift, control, right mouse button to get back out of it. And there's my object. If I want to go to the right view, I roll around over here. Or left, sorry, left shows up. Shift, control, it snaps into the left view. Now if I right mouse button, it's panning in an orthographic left view. Shift, control, right mouse button to get out of it and I'm now back to modeling in 3D space. So this allows you to do really complex edits using the construction planes, the, the dynamic construction planes as you roll around here without ever leaving the perspective view. So give it a shot. I hope you like it as much as I do. That's one view, thanks.